Hi guys, welcome to the Bastrop Public Library online card catalog. Today I'm going to share with you some of the helpful hints to uh, get you the best book that you are looking for. So if I have a four-year-old who really likes cat books, I'm going to look in the card catalog for a cat book for her. So I'm just going to type in cat and search. And as it loads, I can tell I'm going to have 685 matches, which is a lot of books to look through. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow down how the card catalog looks for it. Um, title starts with, so that's just um, if I know what the, what the title starts with. So like if I wanted a Harry Potter book, I would write Harry Potter. Um, or if I know maybe it starts with the word red or anything, okay, so I would choose that one. If I know like maybe the middle part of the title, that would be title phrase. If I know the author, I would choose author. And you want to do last name, comma, first name. Or you just know the last name, type in the first, the last name. That's fine. Just please do not type in first name, last name, because it's not going to pull it up correctly. And subject. So a subject is the term that the cataloger has decided fits best with the book. Um, so I'm going to choose subject because there has got to be books labeled as cat books. Okay, so 580 is not a whole lot less, but it's still more manageable than it was. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my refine search bar right here, and I can go ahead and narrow it down a little bit. If I want a newer book than was published in 1928, um, I'm going to I'm going to do that. So I only want books that have been published since 1990. So I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm going to add, um, and that that helps tremendously. Um, my Lexile measure is going to be how hard it is. So the higher the number, the harder the book is. Accelerated points reader, same th sort of deal. Um, so that's, or I'm sorry, the accelerated reading reading level is how hard or easy it is versus points. So if you have an AR reader who um, has to read a certain has to get so many points, that's a good way to do it. And then I can look a little more carefully here. But my favorite tool, my favorite little hint for you guys is to click up here on this label button. And this is going to organize my books according to how we have them in the library. So you can see this one's not available yet. That's why it doesn't have a label. First reader, okay, is going to be my, my beginning reader books. So my four-year-old, this is probably still a little hard for her. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I've got lots of first readers about cats. If it says display over here. That means it's on display somewhere in the library, generally in the river, in the main area. Okay, so a number means that it's a nonfiction book. And because there's no J in front of it, that means it's for adults, which is definitely way too hard for my four-year-old. CD book is just an audio book. Okay, if it's got a J in front of it, it means it's for juvenile. It's in the kids' area. DVD. And then we get to E, okay, and E with a number is an easy nonfiction book. So that's my picture books. Um, this might be a really good one. M is for meow, a cat alphabet. That would be perfect for my four-year-old since she likes to show off that she knows her alphabet. Okay, so I'm just going to go now and look on the shelf uh, for E 636.8 W-I-L. So I just write it down on a piece of paper and take it with me to the shelf so I can find it. Um, if you guys need further help looking for a book, um, like I said, organize it by label. That's a great way to look for it. Or you can always ask at the reference desk or excuse me, the information desk, and we would be happy to help you. Thanks, guys. Bye.